Welcome to the shop at Midwest Gunworks. Today we're going to be talking about some items and accessories that you can use to do some home gunsmithing on your own. The first thing that we always recommend is a good solid bench. You'll see the benches that we use are at least an inch and a half to two inches thick of solid wood. Next is going to be a good mat. The tech mat is a good option because you have thousands of different options for firearms on the mat themselves, and they also help with padding and making sure you don't scratch up your firearm. Next is what I believe is the most important, and that is a vise. With having a good vise, you can take your firearm, lock it down, have a third arm pretty much. Also another thing that you can make for your vise are these vise jaws that we use. They're made out of standard plywood on the back and a hard rubber front that allows you to not scratch or ding your firearm. First, on the parts side, we're gonna recommend is a good gunsmithing screwdriver set. The difference in these screwdriver sets and your standard Home Depot, Lowe's, anything like that is gonna be the way that the bit sits in your screws on guns will make it to where you can't mar them as easily. Next is gonna be a bench block. This bench block that we have here is good for any pistols or sometimes a rifle or shotgun. And this allows you to punch pins out and not lose them or keep them on your bench. Next is gonna be a good hammer. With this hammer, you're gonna see there's a plastic front and a brass front. The plastic front is good when you're hitting the actual firearm and that allows you to not mar, while the brass is good to get a solid hit on a punch. Also on the same line is gonna be a kit that we have on our website that has the hammer and punches themselves. The punches are gonna be really nice because they have different sizes that will allow you to punch pins out and also back in. And the hammer is what we talked about with the plastic and the brass heads. Next is gonna be your standard or metric hex key kits. You'll see a lot of firearms nowadays use hex keys instead of flat heads and that allows you to get in there and find the right size and easily make the modification. Next is an upgrade that's not needed, but helps with your arsenal. This is the fat wrench. It allows for a torque setting that you're gonna wanna put when installing hand guards or different things that need to be set at a certain foot inch or foot pound. Also, when working on those new AR-15s, the Magpul Armors wrench comes in handy for anything that you may need to install. Next is going to be some cleaner. With the cleaner, we have a Hoppy's number nine gun medic cleaner. This allows you to be able to spray the cleaner on your firearm and then wipe the dirt off. Next is going to be an oil protectant. REM oil in the can allows you to be able to set the straw in the nozzle and really get down deep into whatever you're wanting to oil. Finally, the last thing is blue Loctite. The blue Loctite is good on screws because it keeps the thread lock in, but it doesn't make it to where you can't pull them back out. When using the thread lock, you wanna be very, very liberal in what you use and how much you use. Now that we've talked about different items and different tools that you can use at home, check out our website at midwestgunworks.com.